breathing, motherfucker. Thanks for coming by. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the channel. You know, thanks for watching. Every view, I appreciate it. Anyways, today, we're going to talk about these motherfuckers right here. You know, this is video 98. Probably, you know, I don't really have a fucking schedule or nothing. But, you know, probably, uh, you know, on Monday I'll probably drop 99. And then 100. Yeah, like I said, I had a pretty badass prop made. And, and, and you know, trust me, I'm going to do something special for 100. But, you know, it's not going to be stupid. And I promise, I guarantee, it's not going to be tacky. I'm kind of a big deal. Okay, maybe maybe it'll be a little stupid and tacky. What the fuck do you want? You know. Anyways, real quick, I'm not gonna count the uh, the older Pantera shit they did. You know, they, like I said, I you know I, I I got nothing for but respect for Pantera, and I, you know I respect that old stuff. You know, I just I don't really listen to it, so you know I'm not gonna count it. You know, like I say. You know, I respect the hell out of Johnny Cash. He was a badass motherfucker. But, I gotta be honest, I don't listen to that shit either. <laughs> Anyways, let's get going here, number five. Reinventing the Steel. Yeah. Came out in 2000. Like I said, you know, there's some cool shit on here. Goddamn electric. Grind that axe for a long, long time. One of my favorite lyrics. The smell of the air is chicken shit. Anyways, you know, you know it's, at the end of the day, it's still a fucking Pantera record. So, you know, I throw that fucker in once in a while. By the way, you know, one of my criteria for this is, you know, obviously there's some nostalgia in there. But, you know, the way I usually, you know, I'm, like I say, I'm not judging her. But the, anyways, bottom line, rambling, is, you know... The more times I listen to it, you know, the ones I pick up the the most, those are my, mo my most favorite ones, obviously. Anyways, speaking of which, number four, a little bit of controversy. Yeah, where, where it all began. 1990, Cowboys from Hell. Like I said, man, you know, just nostalgia. I mean, this, this album's the shit, obviously. Cowboys from Hell, Domination, Cemetery Gates. Oh, it's all badass shit. It's just that, like I say, the other the other three on the list, I, I I seem to just reach for those a little bit more than this. I mean, it still kicks ass, though. Like I said, it's still a fucking Pantera record, motherfucker. Anyways, number three. Yeah, you know, right here. Great Southern Trend Kill. Yeah. Kick ass, 1996. Yeah. You know, I, honestly, I, I talked about this album in a different video about how the second half saves the first. And honestly, I misspoke, man. This album kicks ass. You know, War Nerve, you know, even Drag the Waters. You know, that's some good shit, man. But yeah, like I said, this album is just fucking brutal. So anyways, number three. Number two. Talk about brutality. You know, as far as, you know, fuck you albums go, this one's right at the top. Far Beyond Driven. Yeah. This thing kicks ass, man. This came out in 1992. Yeah. I'm sorry, 1994. <laughs> like I said, uh, you know, this is, I'm not the fucking rock expert or anything. You know, I'm just a fucking... Loudmouth motherfucker with a cell phone. Let's go. Anyways, I love this album. Like I said, man, 25 years becoming some of my favorite shit of all time is on this motherfucker. Anyways, far beyond driven. And, you know, there can only be one. You know, like I say, 
what else can you say? A lot of this, part of this is nostalgia, but this is just a badass motherfucking record. Vulgar display of power. To this day, my favorite album cover. And, and we're going to get into that. Like I said, I got some new shit coming. I'm going to be talking a little album covers. But spoiler alert, my favorite, number one. I got this on the wall. The album. That's how much this album is for me. I mean, like I said, my second favorite album of all time. Pantera's my favorite band of all time. By the way, that's why, I'm, you know, I just wore this shirt, but, you know, fuck it. Gotta wear the Pantera shirt for the Pantera video. And Pantera kicks fucking ass. Anyways, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Thanks for watching. Like I said, man, if, if you want to leave a comment, man, drop me something. You know, what's your favorite Pantera record? All that kind of shit. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate every view. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Like I said, one more video to go. And then we hit 100, baby. Let's rock. We're going to hit 10,000 views by the end of the summer, man. I can feel it. Down in my nether regions. <laughs> I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Before I get out of here, real quick, uh, let's go back to one of, one of my old segments right here. Later! Welcome back to the new episode. Cleaning with the fire-breathing motherfucker. Anyways, this one's going to be a little POV style. Yeah, I got to do a little bit of laundry. Obviously got the soap, and I've mentioned this before, the fabric softener, yeah. You know, I still don't know what the fuck it does, but I use it because I love Mrs. Fire. Anyways, something that was kind of interesting is, you know, Mrs. Fire's like, are you sure you're using that fabric softener? And I'm like, I love you, babe. I would not lie to you. I use it every time. Anyways, here's the washer. And it's got this little drawer here. So I was like, I swear to God. You know, the shampoo goes there and the fabric softener goes there. And she's like, uh, that's not quite right. How could you possibly fuck that up? What kind of a dumbass? Yeah, apparently what the fire breather did not know is the drawer actually <laughs> extends out even farther. And the fabric softener actually goes in there. Anyways, that's my pro tip for all you guys out there doing a little laundry. All you guys and gals. Anyways, yeah, the fucking thing, man. I thought that was just like, you know, it's like seeing a new color. I didn't even know that existed. Anyways, one more thing, you know. Of course, you, you know, when you use all this shit, you got to adjust the amount. But today I'm going to fill it up because believe me, brother, today I've got a huge load. Yeah, I could have made a dick joke out of that. It would have been easy.